Now we just said that that the photoelectric effect was not capable of being explained by the wave theory of 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 the classical physics that we had. So so <clears throat> so here comes Einstein, and he said that your basic premise on which you are kind of calculating everything and trying to understand everything is wrong. And when dealing with, when kind of interacting with matter, okay, so, so he said that when interacting with matter, when interacting with matter, in the sense that it is trying to uproot, eject out electrons, the, the light behaves like a particle, the light behaves like a particle, like a particle and, and and he named the most basic particle okay the the the, the smallest particle the smallest particle the smallest particle was named as photon he named it photon and said it had an energy E equal to H nu, where nu is the nu is the nu is the is the frequency and H is the Planck's constant. He named it photon and he said, look, look, you are talking about an electron being ejected. Who is ejecting it? It is actually the photon that is responsible for ejecting. He said it is the photon, which is one photon. So, so a photon comes from here. One photon comes in, hits it, and and ejects one electron. So, so it ejects one electron out. One photon, one photon ejects, <coughs> ejects one electron this and the energy of the photon is is this so so energy of the photon energy of one photon energy of one photon is 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 e equal to h nu okay and this explained every damn thing so what happened what happened since one one electron was responsible for for ejecting one electron so whenever this h nu if nu naught is the threshold frequency or, or, or i say h nu is less than the threshold frequency okay it means it is less than the work function so 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 h nu as long as see I had a work function that is that is the minimum amount of energy required to eject one electron and that is why I have a threshold so h nu naught okay that's why so so nu naught corresponding to this amount of energy is the threshold right and and this is not a huge amount of energy this is given in terms of of electron volt a few electron volts okay now one electron volt, one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. It is, it, it is the unit of energy. Okay. It is a unit of energy. Fine. So, so, so if as long as, as H nu naught, the moment H nu naught is equal to phi naught, the, the electron will be just ejected, but it will not gain any kinetic energy right so 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 no electron no electron what i'm saying is is, is no electron ejected if h nu is less than h naught electrons ejected if if h nu is greater than h nu naught 
okay and h new not has to be equal to equal to the work function where where in both these cases where where h new not has to be equal to the work function both are energies right now the moment h new is greater than that then this is the total input energy that you are giving a part of it is getting spent in uprooting it and whatever is left is actually the energy with which your electron flies off get that the input energy is equal to the energy for uprooting and the remaining energy because gets as the kinetic energy right and we have seen that we have seen in the last video that h nu is equal to h nu is equal to phi not plus half mv square is nothing but ev not okay this is ev not we have seen that that was a measure of of that because we were able to apply an op opposite magnetic sort of voltage and try to bring the uh, the the current to zero and and that was a measure of the kinetic the the the, the kinetic energy the the highest kinetic energy of the electron right so so this is what is known as the einstein's photoelectric equation this or that they they they, they indicate the same thing they indicate the same thing this is the einstein's einstein's photoelectric equation okay photoelectric equation and you see the graph that he must have seen to to reach his conclusion must be that graph where where he saw that intensity is not making any difference on the kinetic energy and what is actually making the difference on the kinetic energy that is on the stopping potential was the frequency as we are increasing the frequency it was the stopping potential that was increasing so that must have given him the clue but he was a daredevil in the sense that it was completely absolutely out of the box kind of thing that he came up with right and that gave us a very new insight into how the matter matter interacts with how how light interacts with with matter right so 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 this equation will now tell you so so he kind of explained it like that that see see if you have if you have a a, a pillar right that kind of gets uprooted gets uprooted by by a force of 10 newton okay but but before that and he said when we increase the intensity we were trying to increase the intensity and asking why 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 is that not able to uproot an electron why is not able to that that able to create a, a photoelectric effect if i am below the threshold frequency so he said that as you as we increase the intensity you are increasing we actually increase the number of photons the number of photons per second that's all per second okay per per second that's why you must have seen that when i was beyond the threshold and i was increasing my intensity then the the current was linearly dependent on that because the number of the number of photons were also increasing as you were increasing the intensity so so we actually increase the number of photons per second and not the energy per photon not the energy per photon not the energy per photon why because because the energy of the photon lies in the frequency of it and that is h nu correct so if if i try to kind of give you a a a, a simile a figurative uh, kind of figurative thing on this then then i'll i'll i'll, I'll say that if if there is there is a bullet okay that is coming towards this this and and it requires 10 newton to uproot this and i am firing bullets with 9.99 newton force 
okay so so the bullet when it hits it it imparts a force of 9.99 newton so whatever be the number of bullets you keep on firing it will not get uprooted right and that is what is happening when you are below the threshold frequency because your each bullet each photon which is behaving like a particle is having an energy that is less than what is required to uproot an electron okay and and what happens and and obviously no two bullets hit the hit the pillar at the same time because no two photons will go and hit the electron at the same time the the probability becomes very 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 less right so 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 you keep on firing so when you are increasing intensity you are actually increasing the number of bullets and not the energy per bullet so what happened the moment you increase the intensity beyond the threshold suddenly these bullets they they attain an energy of say 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 10.5 newtons and all of them are now capable of uprooting the uprooting the electron and that's why the photoelectric phenomena starts only after you cross that threshold right now all the all the numericals that you'll get is will be based on this okay this simple equation which is nothing but the law of conservation of energy is it not so we'll we'll now next try to solve a few questions based on that